Well, I'm back to my Victoria 2 Bukhara playthrough as it's 1832 as I'm still just sitting back waiting to civilize. Because, yeah, once I civilize, I need to build a whole bunch of clipper factories to um, supply my ships since they're not being built. I need to build up my armies, even though it's not going to really do much effect. And just get my rank up high enough so I can be a great power because I'm getting close to it. I mean, let's see the ledger again. Let's see. Yep, I would be a secondary power still. It looks like 11th place right now. I'm 143. I'm 40 away from on the Netherlands. 50 away. Oh, God. I'm like almost 100 away from beating Spain, though. So, yeah, that sucks. Oh, boy. Oh, I see Um, Spain got a little bit bigger somewhere or smaller. Wait a minute. I think they lost. Didn't they lose that to France? I, I think... I'm pretty sure I think Spain had that for a while, and then they lost. I guess Spain beat them, the crap out of them enough. Hmm. Interesting. All right, then. So, check the populations of the world, too, as you see. A lot of Bukhar, I mean, Uzbeks across our empire, since that's our primary culture, Bukhar, um, Uzbek. As, yeah, Paul Berenia is still beating the crap out of... The Commonwealth. I can't believe what I'm seeing. What? Oh my god! What happened to the Commonwealth's army? They got zero score! What is this? How are they losing so badly? How did they lose their entire army? They were like one of the most powerful countries in the game just a few years ago. And they destroyed Timurids and all of them, so it's not like they lost them in the war or anything. What happened to them? Wow! What is going on here? Oh, oh, poor Ottomans if Iraq gets that. All they'll have left is that island right there. Would be a shame if someone took them out. Ooh. How are you puppeting the Malhooks when you're destroyed? Oh my god, I'm surprised they haven't broke away from you yet. I know I would have. Ooh, I think I can build. Yes, I can build a new troop now. Goody, there we go. 1.8, getting closer and closer. But gee, oh my god, the Commonwealth got fucked. Holy shit, now Pomeray is going to be a great power. Oh, they are a great power now. Okay. Wow, the Commonwealth just got... Well, they only lost one province. It's not too bad, but man, did they get fucked. Oh boy, remember, I think it was like a few episodes ago I said, when I civilize, I want to ally the Commonwealth. Mmm... Right now, that's not looking like the case since the Commonwealth's destroyed. Delhi or Ming might be a better option right now because the Commonwealth would not be a good ally. But they're a great power of a bit. They're very populated too, so it shouldn't be too hard for them to rebuild. And speak which I just know is better fix that. Since I'm losing a lot of money. Let's check on my research now too. 5,500. Oh my god, still need it. Oh my god, it went up in cost. Damn it. All right, fix our relationship with Delhi. Here on trying to break um Canadian Michigan. Oh, they're trying to break Michigan away from Canada, and that's been an epic disaster as they're being invaded. They lost all of Indiana. Looks like they're about to lose upstate New York very soon too. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Feel bad for them. What were they thinking actually attacking them? That's the weird thing I don't get. As Minnesota is gigantic. Wow, Canada has no points whatsoever. Oh, hell yeah, Paul Moran definitely will ally you. Upcoming great power. I'm going to be upcoming great power too. Maybe we can gang up and, you know, carve up the Commonwealth right now. Maybe that would be an interesting idea. Especially since there's no strength whatsoever in them. <laughs> As still can't do anything really. Oh, lost the brigade support, but at least I got that one troop built. That'll help out a lot. Alright, so as we're nearing the end of September, about to go into October. Well, my literacy's going up really quick now. Good. Yeah, that's another thing too when I civilize. I need to ally my vassals in Finland and Cook really quickly. Because I got vents to conquer them later. I need to start turning this around and assess, may assert myself around here. And then, of course, get rid of this ugly abomination of Astrakhan getting independence. 
Ugh, that's ugly. Probably need to colonize this very soon, but I don't think I can right now. Alrighty, up. Oh. oh no, not again! <laughs> not that again, I just had one too. Now I gotta deal with another one. Damn shit. As we're nearing the end of the episode, my my um troop, my army went up a couple points in this game. That's pretty good. So let's see, 144. Yeah, still low in place. Unfortunately, Timurids and Netherlands gained a lot of strength on me. That's not good. As yeah, Timurids on the verge of being a great power again. Okay, the Commonwealth starting to get their strength back up. Yeah, Timurids, if you actually didn't have your truce right now, if you fought the Commonwealth, you might actually have a chance this time, because they have no strength now in them. Uh, I still have no idea what happened to them. They got fucked. And I mean fucked, and I don't even know what happened to them. And clergy up there in Moscow is almost 2% now, about damn time. Still going to take a while to get there. Ah, Serbia got independence, I see, from someone. And here we are, we're now in 1833. And of course, I still didn't westernize. I still got quite a bit to go still before the next reform. As let's see, 70. Oh god, now we're up to 7570. Damn it! <sighs> well, that'll wrap up this episode, of course. Like I said, I got a whole bunch of shit to do once I civilize and all that. So, see you guys next time!